Hello and welcome to this video on acetic acid and in this video I'll discuss how we construct the Lewis structure. Now before we begin drawing that, what we see here is we have a COOH and a COOH just means we have a carboxylic acid and a carboxylic acid is a functional group that looks like this. We have a C double bonded to an O which is a carbonyl and we also have this OH which is a hydroxyl but all of this together is a carboxylic acid. So let's actually draw it now. Okay, this formula right here uh, lets us know how many bonds our molecule should contain. Our demand is how many uh, electrons each atom would like to have around it. So how many valence electrons each of these atoms like to have. So we know carbon and oxygen like to have the octet of electrons, so that's the octet rule. But hydrogen can only have two, which is the duet rule. So what we have here is we have a carbon, which is eight. We have another carbon, which is eight. And we have two oxygens, so two more eights. We have a total of four hydrogens. So each hydrogen wants two. We can just multiply that. So four times two is eight. So it's just another eight. So what is this? Eight times five, that's 40. So our demand is 40. So every electron, or every electron, every atom will be satisfied. Okay. So our supply is how many valence electrons each atom can actually contribute to this molecule. So carbon is found in group 14, so it has uh, four valence. Hydrogen is found in group one. We have three of them, so I'm just going to write three. We have another carbon. Oxygen is found in group 16, so that's six, another oxygen, and another hydrogen, which is found in group one. Now if we add all this up, four plus three is seven, seven plus four is 11, 11, 17, 18, 24. Okay, clean this up. Whoops, there we go. So 40 minus 24 all over two. That would be what, 16 divided by two, which is eight. So that's how many bonds our molecule should contain. So let me clean this up. I'll just write eight over here. But um, what we have here is the CH3. I don't know if you guys know this yet or you've learned it, but this is like a methyl group. So we have a carbon bound to three hydrogens. And this carbon is also bound to another carbon. And remember what I said, this COOH is a carboxylic acid, and that was a C double bonded to an O, which is a carbonyl group, which is also bonded to a OH. So that's not that long of a line. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to just draw in our lone pairs because each of these atoms needs to have a octet except for the hydrogens because they have the duet rule there we go so if we count all these up 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 and if you remember that was what our supply was so this all checks out you can check formal charges but in this case this molecule does not have any formal charges all these are neutral now sometimes your professor doesn't want you to draw these lone pairs in, so it just depends on your professor. Also, if you want to draw the skeletal structure, it just looks like this. We have a C, right? Each of these like corners is a carbon, but not in this case because we have an OH right here. So we have a carbon here and a carbon here and an OH. This carbon had a double bond to an O, and then this carbon just has three H's, but it's not shown. So that is what our skeletal structure would look like, but for, as for the Lewis structure, this would be your answer. I hope this video helped, and yep, that's it.